Yusuf Al Mawla says the best word to describe him would be competitive. Several times a week, he comes to this basketball court in central Beirut to practice drills. He's part of a wheelchair basketball league and also takes part in marathons. Over the years, Yusuf has won dozens of medals and trophies and says his disability, which confines him to a wheelchair, has never stopped him from succeeding. I have challenged my disability and I have challenged the society I live in. I ask every person with a disability to fight and face these obstacles because if we don't fight, we will die. Yusuf is part of the Lebanese Welfare Association for the Handicap that campaigns for the rights of disabled people. According to government statistics, around 400,000 Lebanese live with disabilities. And although legislation has been passed to protect them, the laws are rarely enforced. Those with physical challenges aren't the only ones who are fighting for rights and acceptance. Those struggling with other disabilities say they too often feel ignored and excluded. Sharbel Abu Khalil works in administration at a high-end bathroom and kitchen design store in central Beirut. He was born with Down syndrome and has been working there for the past four years. Sharbel says he loves his job. I am very happy in my work. I have so much friend here and uh, me help them. Habib Khoury runs the company. He says some of his staff were initially uncomfortable with the idea of having a colleague who is disabled, something he believes is common for most workplaces in Lebanon. But soon after Charbel started working there, attitudes began to change. Charbel is an asset for all of us. He is a catalyzer of good spirit, of joy. And we really feel great and grateful for Sharbil that he is among us. Yusuf al-Mullah says despite all of his awards and medals, because of his disability, he still doesn't feel fully accepted by society and that others like him are still too often excluded from work and other opportunities, which is why until that changes, he'll continue his fight for the rights of all disabled people in Lebanon. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Beirut.